The Particle Photon is a very useful prototyping IoT platform, but unless you create your own IoT service to receive data, you'll find that your Photon is not much more than an Arduino Uno. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use the Particle Photon with the Adafruit IO IoT service so you can log data. The first step into using the Adafruit.io framework with the Particle Photon is to create a new project on the online IDE. Then navigate to Libraries, search Adafruit I.O., then select Adafruit I.O. Particle, and then click Include in the project. There are many functions to learn about, but in this how-to, only the most important ones will be understood as well as some data types. Note, AIO stands for Adafruit I.O., and it's easier to write in code. Adafruit I.O. Client, Adafruit I.O. Feed, begin, get feed, send, receive, and is value. When using the Adafruit I.O. class, you will need to create an AIO class, a TCP client class, and connect the TCP client class to the AIO class. This code is often placed at the top of any of the functions so that it's global, and the code shown is a simple example of how it can be done. This example shows how a define is used to store the AIO key, which makes using the key in the code easier to do. The key and the TCP client are passed to the AIO object, called AIO client, using the Adafruit IO client function. An AIO feed object is also created here. For the AIO object to be used, it needs to be started, and this is done using the function begin. No variables are passed in this function and is only called once in the setup. The feed object allows us to save and retrieve data from the feed on Adafruit. Feeds first need to be assigned to an AIO object and this is done at the top of the code. The feed object is pointed to a feed by using the getFeed function which takes a single parameter, the feed name. In the top of our code example, we assign the feed object called testFeed with a feed found on Adafruit.io called temperature. Using the AIO object, AIO client, this way, when we access the test feed object, we can interact with the temperature via the AIO object. Sending data to a feed is very easy to do and uses the send function on a feed object. This function takes on a string, and so to send non-string values, they first need to be converted into a string. To convert numbers into strings, typecasting can be done. This code shows two examples of how data can be sent, as a string or as a number. Reading data from a feed is very easy and only requires the receive function and a temporary feed data object. But before using the receive data further, it is good practice to use the isValid function, which returns true if the data is valid and okay, or false if there was something wrong with the data. The feed data object type can be directly used as a string, which makes it useful in string comparisons. The example shown shows how the temporary feed data object latest is used to receive the data from the AIO, test the validity, and then print the received data on the serial port.